Hi, I'm Weeby 108's Jay Michaels, and it's time for another exciting Tuesday test drive. This week, our feature dealer is BMW of Darien, and we are going to be test driving a brand new vehicle, the 2014 BMW i3. It's an electric vehicle. This is going to be exciting, and we hope you'll come along for our journey today. Hi, my name is Yusef Ward, a client advisor at BMW of Darien, and welcome. I want to introduce BMW's new i3. This is BMW's new all-electric vehicle, and it was designed from the ground up as an electric vehicle. Such details include all LED headlights, conserving energy, saving uh, power to the car, the wheels, specially designed for this car with low rolling resistance, the interior of the car, as you can see, very easy to get in and out and extremely roomy inside. And speaking about roomy, I want to show you the cargo space. You have ample space here. At the same time, the seats do fold down, giving you additional cargo space. So please come down to BMW of Darien and experience BMW's new i3. But let's get started. Tell us how far this new BMW i3 can go on a single charge. On the single charge, driving the car responsibly, you could get um, anywhere between 80 to 100 miles. There is an optional range extender, mm -hmm. which gives you a 34 horsepower two-cylinder motor, and you could uh, effectively double your range. And that would be using uh, normal gasoline. That, the rage extender. That's correct. So it's kind of a little got a hybrid aspect to it, although not a hybrid vehicle. That's correct. It's it's not considered a hybrid, but it does give you that you know extension uh, if you're concerned about sure. your daily commute. Now, when you need to go and get recharged, uh, tell us a little bit about that and how long a charge takes. The charge takes uh, with the supplied cable. It takes uh, 20 hours, and that's on a standard household 120 volt uh, outlet. Mm -hmm. And uh, it would be uh, 20 hours from completely full, uh, empty to completely full. So you can come home after your commute from work. You can park the car. You can plug it in in the garage. You go upstairs. You have your dinner. You have your evening. You go to you wake up in the morning, and if not completely charged, certainly plenty enough to head off on the next day's trip. Abs be, uh, absolutely. Yeah, adequately powered. Uh, how about the warranty on these batteries? You would think that with that kind of constant charging and recharging that the batteries would have a, uh, you know, a short uh, lifespan, but uh, tell us, uh, how are they warranted? Their batteries are warranted for eight years, 100,000 miles. It is 170 horsepower with 184 uh, foot-pounds of torque, and that's instantaneously and I'll uh, demonstrate that in one second. I think that's one of the misconceptions with an electric car. We assume that you know you may give up a little in terms of uh, uh, horsepower. Uh, you're actually not, to tell you the truth. I mean, you it really gets it picks right up, gets up and go pretty well. Ooh, that feels good. I like that. Great response. Now I see we're taking some pretty uh, dramatic turns here. How about handling? Handling, uh, typical BMW, 50-50 weight distribution, and it handles as predicted. Uh, the interior, the wood is eucalyptus. The uh, door panels and dash is um, Kina fiber, such as the module that we're sitting in right now. It's all uh, carbon fiber. Wow. So extremely lightweight, extremely strong, and 100% uh, recyclable. Wow, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. And one thing, folks, you know, this car does look kind of small when you're looking at it from the outside, but when you get inside here, there's a, the legroom is, I'm six foot two, and I have plenty of legroom up front, and I like the dash area, the front of the car, there's space up front. If you want to put your lunch up there, or you've got some papers, there's a, a lot of uh, storage room inside the vehicle. There is. It's very airy on the inside. It doesn't feel cramped at all. It's, uh, it makes it for a very pleasant uh, place to be in. Now, what makes the i3 stand out uh, from the competition? If you were going to compare this to your standard automobile, how does, this, how does this stack up? Well, the i3 was designed from the ground up as an electric car, right. uh, unlike its competition. So, you know, that being said, it's, the vehicle is born electric. So everything was taken into consideration, such as weight, materials, um, agility, all in the um, 
the and overall the, and the design of the car. The overall weight of this vehicle is pretty much lighter than a standard car, would you not say? Uh, I would, I would say. absolutely lighter than a standard car and lighter than the uh, competitors, the other uh, electric vehicles. Now there are three different types of i3s, three categories. Um, they all look the same, but there are some optional and, and design differences. Can you explain the three different uh, i3s? Yes, uh, there are three uh, lines of this vehicle. Right. There's the Terra, Giga, and Mega, and they all differentiate themselves by uh, options and uh, exterior colors. I take it if people want to get a little bit more information, they can go on your website and get a, a good look at the, what the cars look like and, and review some of the points that we've made today. That's correct. That's highly uh, suggested that people do go on our site and um, look at the differences. What is that site, by the way, that website? It's www.bmwdarian.com. bmwdarian.com. I suggest that our viewers take advantage of that because there is a lot to consume here in terms of the information. And uh, it's a terrific car. Now, do you have a lot of these in stock, a lot of these uh, i3s? Or? These cars are available, they yes. They are available. Absolutely. And someone can stop by and take a nice test drive like we're taking, I would take. I highly recommend that some that people do. They're they're going to absolutely fall in love with them. Uh, any special lease? Uh, I mean, would you? Is it preferable to lease versus buy, or is that any differences there with uh, going in and financing uh, a normal standard vehicle? Well, that's up to the uh, the customer. And there you have another Tuesday test drive. Our feature dealer this week. BMW of Darien, and we took a test drive of the BMW i3. Yusuf, thank you very much. Very well. I learned a lot about the car, and it's an exciting vehicle, and I'm sure a lot of people, when they get to look at this vehicle and get inside it, are going to be sold. So best of luck with it. It's the wave of the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jay Michaels from Weeby 108.